Ladies and gentlemen and karaoke lovers of all ages, welcome to another installment of How To with M2. This is an instructional video on setting up Just Karaoke 2.1, along with the world's largest professional quality karaoke library collection by Karaoke King, trusted since 1985. Hello, you have a package from Karaoke Kingdom. Contents are fragile, so if you happen to be like many of us and are clumsy, please be careful. With a pair of scissors, carefully open the end of the envelope. Please be sure not to cut into any of the contents. Inside, you will find a padded envelope. Please carefully remove the envelope. It usually has a QC pass stamp on the envelope. Please be sure to look inside the envelope for any other items that are inside. Here we have found our instruction sheet, a sheet about legalities, our USB connector cord, and a million dollar bill. Open up the sheets and glance over them. Stretch out your USB cord because you are going to need it and don't yet spend your million dollars. Carefully open the small padded envelope. Here is your drive. In this case, it is a one terabyte Seagate hard drive, externally powered by the USB be careful as you plug it in. If you haven't done this before, don't force it. It can only go in one way correctly. Just firmly, but lightly, press it in place. What do we mean when we say laptop PC? In short, a laptop PC is any laptop other than an Apple. Originally by IBM, Common names today are Dell, Toshiba, Samsung, Lenovo, Hewlett Packard. It's always better to use 3.0, which is also downgradable to 2.0. However, the 3.0 is much faster. How do we know which connectors on your laptop are 3.0 or 2.0? Even as of this date, there is no one clear standard. However, most manufacturers have adopted using a blue stripe on the 3.0 and black for 2.0. In this picture, going left to right, we see a VGA monitor connector. We see our ethernet hardwire connector which would connect you to the internet if you were not using Wi-Fi. We see our HDMI connector, not to be confused with the USB. The HDMI is now the universal standard to connect to a monitor or a television, making things very simple. And a USB 3.0 connector. Once again, notice the blue stripe. HDMI connector on your left a USB 3.0 female connector in the middle and a USB 2.0 female connector on the right. On this model they elected not to use the blue stripe instead they designated an SS near the symbol for USB telling you it's a 3.0. Again SS before the symbol for USB. You can think of it as super speed, although I'm not sure what it means in Asia. To the right, you see no SS, just simply a USB symbol, which designates 
2.0. You could use either one of these female output connectors or input connectors. However, the USB 3.0 will be significantly faster, up to 10 times as fast. We have our external karaoke hard drive, our one terabyte. We have it plugged into our 3.0 USB connector. And now we are going to start to open the one terabyte hard drive. After you open your file manager, you will see a screen similar to this. First, click on this PC which you will see on the left column. You will see a disk drive called Karaoke King 1TB. That is the drive we have just connected in. In this case, it is the letter F, as in Frank. Double click on the F drive and you will get a window similar to this. By opening Karaoke King 1TB, you found the following five files. By far, the most valuable file is the first one. Karaoke Library MP3 Plus G, also called MP3 Plus G, zipped. The files are zipped so that they all fit on a one terabyte hard drive. The next most important file is called Music Library MP3. This is regular music, original artists as a DJ or radio station would use. There are no printed words or graphic words associated with these songs. They are simply music files. The next and third is JK2 codes. These are the codes that you need to enter into the Just Karaoke 2.0 setup so that it will run. These are lifetime codes that will run for the life of your laptop. The final and fifth file is Word Read. Many of you will not need this file. Those of you that do not have a program that can open a Word file will need to put this program on your PC. It is very simple and allows you to read Word documents. You will need to read Word documents in order to open your JK2 codes, as in file number three. If you have your own karaoke software player, such as Saxon Dottie, Virtual DJ, any major brand that plays MP3G files for karaoke, you do not need to enter just Karaoke 2.0 and can use any other major software player. So if you're happy with what you currently have and have purchased the product just to add more karaoke songs, you do not need to pay attention to the following setup. In this particular example, our laptop cannot open a Word document, so we will double click on Word Read. We now opened Word Read and we'll see a box like this. Click Yes. you will see the normal Microsoft agreement. If you agree, check the box and click Continue. After you click Continue, you will see another agreement page 
click on I accept and click next. You will see a box appear such as this asking you where you want that program to reside. Pick C, the first choice, which is the main disk drive on your laptop PC. The installation process will run and then will complete. This window indicates the process is complete. Click OK. You have now successfully installed Word Read. Now open JK2 codes. You will see an authorization or activation code. The code does not include the words or colon prior to the code itself and starts at the first character of the code. There is also a customer name, which is just the name. You will need to copy and paste in just the code and just the name or it will not work. Click on Just Karaoke 2.0 JST20 setup in hyphens the number one. This is the window that will appear when you first open the Just Karaoke setup or as they call it Just Karaoke 2.0 installer. You should only have to do this once unless of course you make a mistake and have to go back and purge the program off your PC and start again. However, in 99% of all cases, if you pay attention and do this correctly, you will only need to go through this process once. During your learning curve, it is always a good idea to have the instruction sheet handy. We see our first window and we will click yes. You will now see a welcome screen. Welcome to Just Karaoke 2.0. Simply click next. You will see a window appear for the agreement. If you agree, click on I agree to the terms of the license agreement. The little round circle where you put the dot is called a radio button. That is mentioned because you will see it again and will now click next. The next window will ask you about the installation folder. This will basically be the name and where the folder will reside. The default is the C drive, which is correct, and the folder will be called Just Karaoke. By clicking the second radio button, I have now made the shortcut to get to Just Karaoke for all people that use this laptop PC. I will now click Next. The next screen is telling you everything is good to go and you are ready to install. Simply click Next. The installation is now successful. You can click the Finish button. Please notice that an icon on your desktop has been started. It is a red J with the words Just Karaoke 2.0 below it. We're going to double click to get started on our setup for the Just Karaoke 2.0 program which has just been fully installed. The first window that appears is a notice telling us that they only recognize one monitor which is your main monitor that you are looking at now. Later on, when you want an external monitor or monitors, plural, you will hook them up 
to the HDMI output to have screens that show karaoke words only. For the setup, you do not need to do that. Just click OK for now. Later in the video, I will explain how to hook up an external monitor. After we clicked OK, we now see the dreaded screen for Activate Just Karaoke 2.0. If you do not do this, the karaoke, Just Karaoke 2.0 will still run and give you 10 free trials. Or you can now cut and paste or copy and paste in just the code and just the name for a lifetime activation of Just Karaoke 2.0. The first thing I want to do is retrieve the document with the code and the name. I'll do this by clicking on the file for File Manager. Click on JK2 Codes. Once again, you will see the document that has the code and name. Highlight the code starting with the first character J of the code. Be careful here not to include any blank spaces or the words activation code or the colon. Just the first character of the code all the way to the last character of the code. After you've highlighted the code, click Control C, which stands for copy. Once again, simultaneously, click on Control C. At the same time, holding down Control and C. That is the way you will copy what you have highlighted. Now move your cursor down to the bar after activation code. Now in the same way you will hit control V for paste. This will paste what you have copied into the open bar. Again, that's control V to paste in the code. Now you will see just the code pasted into the bar after activation code. Now, let's do the same for name. Go down to the file and click on your file manager. Here, the document automatically popped up because it remembered we were using that document. Now, highlight the name. Be sure to highlight just the name starting with the M and ending with the N. You will see now that the name is highlighted. It also seems as if you highlighted the spaces under the name. That is the correct way to do it. Now, as before, you're going to click Control C to copy the name. Again, that is Control C to copy the name. As before, move your cursor to the open bar after your name. You are almost there. All you need to do now is click 
Control V to paste the name into the empty bar. Again, Control V to paste. Now you will see that we've copied and pasted in the activation code and the name. We pasted in just the code and just the name. If you do not do it as illustrated in this video, it will not work. Now simply click activate. If all is correct, you will see a red J and the words activation. Thank you for activating Just Karaoke 2.0. Now click OK. You will now, you need to enter in a sample song so the database knows what type of names to load. Mid-screen you will see a box that says Enable. I like to check this box right from the start so you have enabled all editing processes. With the Enable box checked, I am now checking or clicking on the down arrow for Import Songs. This will allow me to find a sample song to import. Once I click the down arrow to the wizard, the wizard is going to do all the hard work for you. You will see a box that says browse for sample. Click on the box. The first screen that appears will not mean much at all. However, on the left column, you will see the Karaoke King 1 terabyte hard drive. Click on the hard drive. Now you will see two choices, the Karaoke Library and the Music Library. Click on to open the Karaoke Library. You are now inside the karaoke library. It was designed to make the max pack first. Your first file you will see 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, max pack. Open that file. After you open the max pack, you will see subfiles. Open the first subfile, AHMO1. After you open that file, you will see a list of karaoke songs. These are actual executable karaoke songs in MP3G format that has been zipped for space purposes. The first song you will see is Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody. Click on that song. You will now be automatically taken back to the select format wizard. You will see in the bar that was empty before it has been populated with the Righteous Brothers song Unchained Melody. Now click Next. The next window is asking you a question. What format would you like to use? Choose the fourth radio button. 99% of the songs have been set up songs in your library are in this order. You now see the fourth radio button clicked album artist title. Sample song, Righteous Brothers, Unchained Melody. Click Finish. You are now being asked to browse for folder. Highlight the drive. 
which is F. After moving the right hand column bar a little further down, I see my last choice, Karaoke King, one terabyte, drive F. Highlight that drive. You will now see the Karaoke King, one terabyte, F drive, and the two major files that fall under it. Click OK. The wizard is now populating the database. This can take anywhere between 15 minutes and two hours. Please be patient. Do not touch abort or any other key on your laptop PC. It is best at this time to simply walk away. You may think the loading of the database has stopped. It has not. It's just that the file extension is so long to the right you don't see it moving or populating. One of my favorites is Let It Be by the Beatles, so I'm going to type in Let It Be. Uppercase or lowercase does not matter. The search yields a number of results. You will see that there's a number of them by moving your cursor to the little bar at the top and moving it over to the right, holding your mouse key down as you sweep it across. The reason for this is, I get this question a lot, how do I know the difference between a regular song and a karaoke song? As you expand the location, if you look at the file name, it will start music or karaoke based on the two major files. That will tell you if it's a song, MP3, or a karaoke song with graphic words, MP3 plus G. We're now going to hook up an external monitor to our Just Karaoke 2.0. You'll see in front of you a Dell laptop and also an external monitor. Note the HDMI connector in front of the monitor. We have also been visited by karaoke pirates. Okay, let's get started. You will see on our Dell laptop the red J with the words just karaoke 2.0 underneath. That is the icon we will click on to open just karaoke 2.0. Once we open our Just Karaoke 2.0, a screen popped up telling us the status of our monitor. On this particular Dell laptop, the HDMI female output connector is located on the left hand side about midway. We have just plugged in the HDMI connector from our external monitor. Usually, the longer flat side of the connector is up, where the curved smaller side of the connector is down. You will see, as we plugged it in, our laptop control screen has not changed and still has the window with our monitor information. This is how you will change your setup from mirrored images to extended desktop. Away from the open window and on your current desktop 
on your laptop, place the cursor. You will now see the cursor in between C Cleaner and the window for Just Karaoke 2.0. Now, right click. As you make a single right click, a window will appear. It says at the bottom, display settings and personalize. We want to double click on display settings. After we double clicked on display settings, we will see a new window appear. There will be a blue box, which indicates monitor one and monitor two. This also confirms that we have currently two displays. So, click on the down arrow. Once you click on the down arrow, you will see a selection. We want extend these displays. Double click on extend these displays. Now we have extended the displays. You will see the monitor display is different than the laptop display. Since this is what we want, click on Keep Changes. By clicking on Keep Changes, we have locked in Extend These Displays. You will see your laptop control screen and the external monitor with two different images. We have now started the song Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. Here is your Just Karaoke 2.0 control screen. You will notice in the upper right hand corner there is a small box that is indicating what is currently showing on your external monitor. This is very handy if you cannot see your external monitor having it face, facing another direction for your singer. We have a problem. I cannot hear the music. The reason we are now listening to Simon and Garfunkel's The Sound of Silence is that when we plugged in our external monitor, all the sound went to the monitor. And since the volume is off on the monitor, we could not hear anything. Here are the instructions, which are very simple, to turn the sound back on for the laptop. Here is your Just Karaoke 2.0 control screen. Down on the lower right hand corner, you will see a little icon that looks like a speaker. Right click on that icon. After you right click on the speaker icon, you will see a window appear with some choices. Double click on playback devices. After you double click on playback devices, you will see this window. You will see that the top choice, the external monitor, has been selected as the default monitor. Meaning the default monitor to carry the audio. Turning the Righteous Brothers back on you will see that there is audio on the channel for the external monitor. Now we want to change to the option that says speakers headphones. After double clicking on speaker headphones I now see this screen. I am going to click on OK 
use this device. Enable. I then clicked on set as default. After I clicked set default, I immediately heard music, Unchained Melody, The Righteous Brothers, from the laptop. This will also include an external audio jack, 3.5 millimeter or 1 8 inch audio jack that will take the audio to your mixer or amplifier. You want to set the audio for speakers, headphones and set that as your default. Then you are good to go. Thank you.